What's going on everyone? I thought I'd make a cool docu-series about my journey to zero driver assist. I want to be quick on track and obviously one of the ways to do that is to remove all the driver assist as they do slow you down. So we're in the time trial mode. I've chosen Portugal because we did this circuit at the league last week. So I know it, I'm confident around it. At the moment I'm driving with uh, manual gear selection and with traction control on medium. I've turned it back on full just to do a comparison. I'm going to do three laps, one with full, one with medium and one with off to see how we go and to do a comparison uh, in terms of the times that I can run with the different traction control settings. My goal long term is to, as I said, drive with zero traction control uh, as it gives you more control of the car and it's much faster with it off. So here we go. And right off the bat, I can feel with it set to full, it does feel slower. It's really strange and I think I'm taking these turns, I'm braking later than I should with the setting on. I'm not too sure, but it did feel straight away as I started the lap. Something felt a bit off, something did feel a bit slower. Obviously with, with the traction control set to full. Uh, but it's interesting, I probably could do a faster lap if I wanted to. We'll see the time I, I, I come out with at the end of the lap. But it was interesting, I immediately felt like with this setting on, it did feel slower. So when I turn it off, I'm curious to see what it's going to feel like. Obviously I'm driving with medium, so that's just going to feel normal to me. That's what I'm used to, that's what I'm confident with. Um, so let's see how we go. So as I complete the lap, I've completed it at 127.61. So it is slower, it's nearly three seconds, or more than three seconds slower than what I normally do, um, which is expected. It's completely on. I'm used to driving with medium, so obviously medium's gonna be faster. So let's see what the lap looks like set to medium traction control on. This is what I'm used to, this is what I practice with, I'm confident, confident with, so let's see what time I can set here. Okay, so this is my medium traction control, lap 118.3. Not my best, I've been a second faster, but you can see already the difference between the two different settings going from full to medium. Um, same circuit, driving style is somewhat similar. Uh, I could do better perhaps on mediums, but you can see that going from full to medium, just with that one change, I'm saving so much time. Now with it off, let's see how I go. Okay, coming down the main straight, I know I've got to be a little bit more controlled, a little easier on the throttle coming out of the turns. So with turn one, braking at the same spot, I can see, you can see that I'm jumping on the throttle a little easier than I did with my medium setting. So turn three, I just give it a bit too much too early and I've spun out. So let's try it again. And I give it too much again. 
So it's obviously a bit tricky. Turn one, <laughs> I've given it too much of turn one. Just come off. So you can see it's, it is just a little bit more challenging than normal. What I'm used to, but I really want to master this thing. Come off again at this turn. Coming up that crest is just, oh, it's just difficult. And just judging, not knowing where to apply the throttle, how much to apply it to. Um, obviously it doesn't feel natural at the moment. I'm used to medium going on full throttle a lot sooner than I should be. So I'm just sort of easing my way through here, trying to find it. So I'm not spinning out as much as fast as I, as I previously was. I'm slowly getting the hang of it, trying to push, but I think I've just got to come, calm down a little bit and just be a bit more patient. I'm past turn three now, so you can see this turn, much later on the track, again, just give it too much and then take out the Emirates sign, like that. Okay, okay, further into the track again, and this, is, this, was, this turn was even difficult on uh, medium, find myself spinning out there. A number of times but um, again just got to judge it properly pick it properly so this lap I managed to set a clean lap with traction control off I am just being really careful really cautious around each turn not trying to push too hard just trying to get the feel of where I can accelerate go from nothing to full throttle Again, just being really, being really mindful of the turn, being mindful of how much throttle I'm giving it, just focusing on keeping the car on the track, not focused on going too fast, not pushing it, just trying to do a clean lap around the track, not worried about invalidating any times and things like that. Um, just want to see what it feels like to do a complete lap around the circuit with the setting off. Um, and I managed to do that this time. I'm still taking the turns, really happy with the way I'm taking it. Got close to that sausage curb, didn't hit it. Every time you hit it, you just managed to spin out. So I'm taking the turns, I'm following the line. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, it's just how quickly I can come back on the throttle is what I've got to focus on and get better at with this thing. But I'm really happy with how I'm doing this. And again, it's just going to be one of those things where I've just got to spend more time on, just get used to the feeling of no traction control being on. And eventually I'll just get quicker and quicker and hopefully win some races in the league. So let's see what time I set. 118.976. So that's pretty good. Not, not too bad. Not, not uh, too shabby. So you can see the differences in the times. Obviously, full traction control is the slowest. Mediums, yes, I set a better time at 117.326. All the red times are relative to my best time. With the setting off, I'm 1.649 seconds slower. So obviously, the more I practice, I'm gonna get better at it, I'm gonna be quicker. And that's what, that's what I wanna strive for, that's what I get to. So eventually, I'll have it set to off. Well, thanks for watching. I'll post a link to a video channel that I follow, PJ Turnery. He's got some really good content for F1 fans and enthusiasts like myself. So check his stuff out. He's got some good tips and guys on how to go from full driver assist on to completely off. Um, give his videos some watch and give me a like and a subscribe. Thanks.